So, let's give my hands a little bit of a cheeky wash. So, let's give this a little bit of a, a whisk up. Um, I want a little bit of almond milk in here as well. Not too much. I mean, you can use no normal milk if you want. But most of the time, I usually use uh, almond milk. It's a lot better for you. <laughs> Join the Pitmaster competition. No, I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to be joining. I'll let you know more of the time once it happens. But multiple. Multiple uh, competitions on uh, Food Network. <laughs> Delicious. Right. Need a pinch of salt. Too much. Let's grab ourselves a pan. Quickly. Mm -hmm. If I can get it out. There we go. Got it. Got it, amigos. There we go. Let's put this onto a medium heat. Just gonna wash a little bit of uh, spinach as well. Don't ever, ever, ever. Put spinach straight from the packet into your pan. Give it a wash, guys. Wash off any kind of bacteria. Any soil. Pause important. That'll do. I don't want to use too much. Got a little bit left for the weekend. Magic. So. Bit of cold water. Just give it all a nice good wash and rinse. Perfect. Put that straight in the pan. It won't burn because obviously the moisture, the, the wetness that you've washed will keep it from burning. But. Because the leaves have got so much moisture anyway, they, they shouldn't burn. They shouldn't burn at all. So as soon as they heat up, they start wilting down and softening up. Perfect. Right, so. I'm going to give a little wish wash while I'm waiting for that to kind of loosen down a bit. Um, Where's the plug? What have I done with the plug? That's great. Great. Uh... Oh, it's here. I'm just blind. It's all good. So, while that's cooking down, I'm just going to get this quickly washed. And we should be good. We should be good to go. Also, please feel free to enter the giveaway that ends next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Exclamation mark giveaway. Two lots of £10 or $10 Amazon gift cards. Uh, please feel free to enter that. That is there for you guys to enter. Right, so, start cooking this spinach down. It's starting to wilt up a little bit. Fantastic, so, um, if you want a pinch of salt in there, you can do. Um, but we're going to cook this down now nicely. Sorry, wrong camera. Want a little pinch of salt, not too much. As I said, I've got salt in there already on the scramby eggs and also the avo, so I don't really want to go too crazy with it. Just a little bit. Beautiful. So let's wilt this down. Um, oh, it's here. My little cheeky spatula. So 
So I'm just wilting these down. Grab ourselves a plate as well. Perfect. Don't want it cooking down too much. Just pop the eggs in. Scramby eggs. Delicious. And we can heat these up, I guess, as well. Just pop them into a pan to, to warm up. So let's grab myself a little pan. Or you can even chuck them in the mic if you want. Or, you know, whatever you fancy. Whatever you fancy. Um, it's this one, isn't it? Also, there is uh, free subs as well there. If you type in exclamation mark, um, free subs with the S on the end, it'll come up and you can enter those. Or play games or do whatever in your free time. Help support the channel. <clears throat> so let's keep this egg moving. <laughs> Raw to cook spinach volume equals sadness. Yeah, you want to kind of bear in mind when you uh, use uh, about a handful, you're not going to get a lot out of it. So um, bearing in mind, if you want quite a lot, I'd put probably like half a bag in. It's entirely up to you though. But just bear in mind, yeah, the volume does uh, drop down considerably. So if you think, oh, this is going to be a hell of a lot, but it, it's not, you'd be quite surprised. I'm lazy, I'll just throw them on the burner. <laughs> you could do whichever you, takes your fancy, as I said before. Uh, however you want to heat them up, by all means, go for it. Beautiful. Mm -mm 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 we get some cheeky little bit of hot sauce as well. Or Cholula, whatever you fancy. Let's use this, uh, this one's smoking a little bit. It's because I cleaned it the other day. Usually when you clean them, they usually kind of smoke a little bit. Sorry, I'm just going to put the fan on a bit. Just to clear it. Or if you haven't used the ring in a long time, it'll tend to smoke. There we go. through nicely. And then with our little cheeky avo as well. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. So once I've had my brekkie as well, we can start on the uh, making the puree for the bread pudding. Uh, let's have a look. How's this bread looking? I mean, I'm not expecting it to be doubled in size yet, but yeah, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, please feel free to enter that poll if you haven't done so already. Exclamation mark. Oh. Um, it will come up. Um, choose your cheeky dish for the following week or the week after, sorry. So, I mean, let's have a look. We got a few votes here so far. Only a few votes. Come on, guys. If you haven't voted already, it's in chat now. Get your votes in. These are almost almost nice and warm. So I just need a little bit longer. We can have uh, a little bit of brekkie. In for the curry. Noms. Delicious lamb. Is it lamb curry on there? I honestly can't remember. Pretty sure it is. But uh, yeah, for sure. I love making curries. If we do the curry, maybe we'll put like pakoras and maybe we'll do like a naan bread and such and such. Definitely for sure. I like a cheeky curry. 
Alright, let's keep an eye on them so they don't burn. They're looking. Well, they're looking pretty good now. Just about there. Beautiful. So. They're getting there. They're getting there. <laughs> what? Oops. It's okay. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Right, okay. So. Good. Let's turn that off. Give that a bit of a, a bit of a wash. Oof. What's the fanciest ingredient you have in your kitchen right now, chef? Right now? I mean, I don't really kind of indulge in, like, super expensive ingredients. That's why I like to keep the cooking simple. I say this to you guys every time. Same with, like, the equipment. Um, I don't know. I guess the most expensive thing would probably be... I really, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't think I got anything too expensive, because... Number one, it costs a lot of money, which we don't have. Um, I guess maybe the scallops in the freezer, possibly. Or the uh, the shrimp. But I guess that would probably be the most expensive thing, I guess. I don't really I don't really hoard it or store too much expensive ingredients or use them. Because I like to keep it simple for people to learn. Uh, Nit Nitaholic, morning. Morning, my friend. How are you doing? How's things? Your love that you need, you add to the food because it's less bright for Danny, seriously. <laughs> Fanciest ingredient in the kitchen right now is Chef. What do you mean? I'm not an ingredient. D1M. Was it Dimin? Dimini? Shicks? I don't know if I had to pronounce that. I'm really sorry. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, buddy. I appreciate it. Was the code made in guac, into guac, or I think I missed the part. No, 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 it's not quite guac. It's just lime juice and salt. Um, I suppose you could add tomatoes, red onions, and garlic if you wanted to, but unfortunately, this is not guac. It's just plain lime and avocado. But uh, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Can we get some uh, love and hype in chat, guys, please? Exclamation mark hype. I love avos for breakfast. So delicious. Diminish. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, sometimes I struggle a little bit with uh, pronunciations. But um, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. And thank you for the follow as well. Follow by a follow. My goodness me. Um, Harosh. Shh. <laughs> Appreciate the follow. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Looks a lovely breakfast. I'll take one to go, please. For sure. For sure. Um, also, Diminish, uh, what would you like to go on to... Um, onto the sub board. Uh, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> onto the sub board. What colour would you like, if you've got any favourite colour? Mm-mm. 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 Sorry, had a mouthful of food. <laughs> um, my first time here. Kitchen Confidence sent me... Oh, that's nice. Um, his recommendations are always good. good. Doing good, thanks. Awesome. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we were making bread pudding. This is not bread pudding. This is just my breakfast. Um, I've made the bread. It's proofing on top of my fridge. We're also going to do coconut cranberry and uh, raspberry as well. To go in with the bread pudding. Uh, we're also making a vanilla healthier custard as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. And is that it? Yeah, and then obviously we're going to cook the two wholemeal loaves down and we're going to use that for the bread pudding, obviously. 
I uh, can't wait for springtime. When I grow my own spinach and charred leaves again. Oh, that's fantastic. Do you grow grow lots of veggies and stuff then, Harosh? Um, but it's lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for popping in. Welcome, my friend. Hey, everyone. Hey, Chef. How are you? Uh, that looks yum. Enjoy. Thank you, Dinda D. I'm doing fantastic. How's things with you, my friend? I'm late. We're already eating. No, this is just breakfast, Kruger. Don't worry. Stop panicking. <laughs> We're making bread pudding today. I'm waiting for the uh, the bread to proof. So I've got time to kill. I've got a lot of time to talk to you guys. So, hi, I'm here. You got my attention. You can ask questions now. Kappa. Or oh, Chef John Reed Kappa. I'd love to try growing Aragula. Oh, you mean like Rocket? I hate buying it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really kind of grown Aragula before. I've grown like a few little bits of salads and things in the past, but... Interesting for sure. Great to grow to vegetables and salad greens. Uh, even if you don't have a garden, just get a like a, a, is it a fluorescent bulb and get growing indoors. Yeah, exactly. I mean, pots and things. I wouldn't mind investing in some pots in the springtime and then maybe we can grow some stuff outside on our patio or our um, balcony. Sorry. I would like to do it. Bob, kill, kill, kill near. What's up? How you doing, Bob? Everything looks amazing except the avocado. I'm allergic. Ah, oh, that's fair enough. No avocado for you then, good sir. Maybe you could have scrambled eggs, spinach, and maybe for the creaminess instead. You could have some, maybe some sour cream. Or maybe some yogurt. Or anything kind of, you know, light. Or a light sour cream, I guess. Would be good, right? Creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is a good shout, chef. Hey, Chef, I'm here too. Extra. I can always see you, good sir. <laughs> How you doing? Also, Diminish, I'm going to get you onto the board. Do you want me to pick red for you? Or any preference, if you don't mind, um, then I'll just stick you on as red. But thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Yeah, I start my peppers indoors in December, and then they're beasts by May. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, those little... Uh, blighters take a long time to get established. Yeah, I guess different things take certain times to grow and obviously certain times of the year, so you know, definitely for sure. Right, so diminished. Thank you so much again. Appreciate it. B1 M1 N Bam Bam Is it SX or SHX? I got it. Thank you so much again, buddy. I appreciate it. Much loves. Oof. Welcome back, Mr. Warbot. How's it going? How you doing? Hmm. I will. I will admit, avocado is probably one of my favourites for brekkie, for sure. You bought a cast iron pan. It's heavy. It will be heavy. If you bought a cast iron pan, it was light. I would send it back. It needs to be heavy. But yeah, I wouldn't mind growing some some veggies or some herbs. Ready for next year. Had chicken breast sandwich, lettuce, tomato, onions with sriracha mayo. So good. Sounds really good. Mmm. Wanted a little bit of chaluda as well, didn't I? Well, I didn't need all of this, but just a little bit. It was on special offer, so I was like, let's get the big bottle. Why not? Hmm. Please feel free to enter the uh, straw poll, guys. Exclamation mark. Oh, my God. Shh. I didn't do anything. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> poll. Have you ever done a tomato top? I've never done a top before. Do you mean like, when you say tart, are you talking like a puff pastry, like flat tart? 
Are you talking about like a tart in a pastry case? Um, and how do you mean like tomato? Do you mean like tomato, cheese, mozzarella, like broccoli in there, or like a quiche? Or how do you mean now? Explain. Had chicken dinner with potatoes. Sounds good. Sounds delicious. I've been so addicted to sandwiches with brie. Egg salad and scallions, so good. Sounds very tasty. Um, it's not working, chef. What's not working? Also, Krugy, we got a brand new hell of a load of uh, brand new emotes as well. Um, and anyone else who hasn't checked it or noticed yet, we got a load of brand new emotes to, to try out now, guys. Thanks to Holographics. Absolutely love those emotes, they're amazing. Thank you again, Hollow. If you are here or you're lurking, appreciate it. Hmm. Per pastry. I guess more of a savory tart. Yeah, I've done loads in the past. I'll, I'll give you some examples in a second once I finish this mouthful. <laughs> Taco pandas. Warbot will like this one. He will. He, he's very much in love in the in the pandas for sure. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, no, I'm very happy with the emotes. They turned out fantastic. Mm. Oh, I still forgot to use the Cholula, Cholula, even though I got it out. I'm just too hungry. That's the, that's that's my main problem. Uh, but yeah, Bob. Usually I do like savory tarts, like say maybe in the past we've done red onion marmalade, goat's cheese. Maybe some tomato on there, some spinach. Um, also, we've done like lots of savory ones from like pesto and mozzarella with pine nuts on the top. You can do anything, really, to be honest with you. Um, if you want a healthier version for puff pastry, phyllo pastry is a great one as well. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Why is there no onion ring emote? Because I needed a kappa face just to kappa you, so there's no onion ring. <laughs> Biska, how you doing? Welcome back. Are they super difficult? I love to conquer one. So easy, so simple. Get yourself a if you're using puff pastry. Get yourself a puff pastry sheet. You can already get some already pre-rolled. Put out nice little discs. Pop them onto onto a tray. Now it depends if you want them flat or not, or if you want them to rise. Uh, if you want them flat and crispy, you put them in between two trays with parchment paper. Hold on, let me finish this bit <clears throat> before I start spitting at the screen and making a mess and being rude. Right, so, you get them between two parchment paper and two trays, so you put one tray at the bottom and then one tray on top, and it'll keep it flat until it's nice and golden. Or, if you want them, you can do them in an assortment of different ways. Um, if you have them raw, um, you can just put the um, garnish on top, or the marmalade, the tomatoes, whatever, and you can just put them on the tray, put them straight in the oven, and they'll kind of puff up on the outsides, and the, the, the middle will stay flat. Um, there's lots of ways you can do it. And they're so simple and so easy. You can experiment as much as you want as well with this. Um, there's no specific, like, you have to do it this way, or it depends on, like, what what results you want. So, definitely, well, but it's really easy to do. Really simple. Very simple. We got the fridge emote. I'm so happy. We do. See, I promise you guys things, and, and you know, we do get it done. Good man. Just finishing lunch. We'll be lurking after. Always fun to see what you're up to. Appreciate it, Beastie. 
hope you're enjoying your lunch. I'm just having my breakfast quickly. That sounds doable. Thank you so much for the input. You're most welcome, Bob. You're most welcome. That's what I'm here for. You guys are stuck on something? Even if I don't know it, I ask, you know, the rest of the community. I don't know everything, but... Give it a go. It's a very simple, easy dish to do. Um, we used to make some back in years and years ago. We used to do, like, a simple starter dish. Goat's cheese and red onion marmalade tart with a bit of rocket and pesto and, yeah, easy. So simple. <laughs> right. I'm going to do some wish washing. And then we're going to do some uh, raspberry curd. Raspberry and strawberry curd because we've got some strawberries to use up. You can put, cook the best food for yourself. Do you get excited for certain food cooked for you? You mean for somebody... Wait. Wait. <laughs> oh, you mean if somebody's cooking for me? Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, for sure. Um, I love foods in general. When my mum my used to cook me foods... I used to get excited. I'm like, Mum, is it ready yet? Come on. <laughs> and then she'd say to me, you know how long it takes to cook. I'm like, I know, but, you know, I just want it quicker. <laughs> but patience is the key for sure. But yeah, yeah of course I would. Definitely. <laughs> Although some of the time I used to do the dishes myself. But yeah. I mean, I do get excited. Especially if you like going out for meals as well. It's always nice. Though, when we do go out for meals... Um, it's not very often, but we did go out the other week. I think we ordered a steak or something. Well, my, my, my wife ordered a steak. She wanted it medium. Or medium rare. It came out well done. And she was like, oh, I don't want to say anything. I was like... Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> I was like, the steak's well done. And we asked for it medium. Sent it back. <laughs> she she can never ever send stuff back. I do. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't ask for that. Send it back. Do you have any favourite restaurants there yet? Mm. There's a breakfast place we quite like going to. Um, which is called... Called the pantry. They do breakfast foods there. Really good. Really, really good. It's always busy there as well, especially like on a Sunday. Um, but it's usually like a 20 minute wait for a table or half an hour. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty decent. 100% has to be done, chef. Totally agree. You do. You can't. You can't just like suffer in silence. If they've done it wrong, you send it back. It's like if I cooked a steak wrong, I would like the. The customer to send it back. It's like, I don't get customers who, like, they eat their meal, right? And you go out and ask them, was everything okay? Yeah, but my steak was overcooked. Why didn't you send it back? Why didn't you just bring it back? I could have done something about it. Now, I physically can't do anything about it because you've eaten it. So, I don't get people who don't say anything. They're like, oh, I don't want to be rude. You're not being rude. If there's a mistake, it's fine. You take it on the chin and you just get on with it, you know? It happens. We're all human. We all make mistakes. That's why I don't get people who don't speak up. It's not being rude. It's just requiring you ask for something else and you didn't receive it. That's all. I just don't get it. I really don't. Maybe I'm just too loud and I speak my mind way far too much. It does get me in trouble sometimes. Um, I'll do it in a second for something like that. <laughs> How un-British of you.